get it in. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Hallelujah. This is Watchman Derek Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek, on this Shabbat, on his 30th day in March 2024. Last book, mother. We're in the last book. It's going to be interesting teaching this chapter. Which chapter are we in? 16, the last, it's, it's really filled with salutations. Really, when I normally deal with the book of Romans, I don't even teach this. Because 95% of it's just greetings. But this time I'm going to teach it. I'm not going to get into the autobiographies of everybody too much. But let's look at it. Alright? Romans 16 and 1. For the purpose of clarification, I want to use um, the NIV, and that's just for clarification um, 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 purposes. Is that all right? <clears throat> Let's. Did we pray? No. No. Let's pray. <clears throat> Spirit Spirit living Elohim, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to be in your presence once again. We count it a privilege and the honor to be in the land of the living with the faculties of our limbs for we don't take it for granted. You are definitely merciful. Hallelujah. We need you. We believe you. We trust you. We thank you. Even in advance for you sending a relevant word that we may continue to grow in you. We're growing you according to your love and kindness, according to your will and according to your word. We love you, we need you, we believe you, we trust you. Send that relevant word that we may grow in you. In Yahushua's master's name, we only pray. Hallelujah. And Amon. Amon, Amon. Shabbat Shalom, uh, Redmond. <coughs> Shabbat Shalom. <coughs> Let's look at this, y'all. <coughs> look what it says. I commend you, our sister, Phoebe a deacon of the Ecclesia in Sin uh, Cree. Wait a minute. Phoebe a deacon? They had a female deacon, y'all? Didn't know that. I didn't know that. A deacon, Samara. What's up? A minister... You know who who else was deacons? Philip was a deacon. She was the lady. Philip was a deacon. Yeah, Philip. Phil, the the ones remember in the Book of Acts when they had to wait tables the, the, to to serve the daily food and all that, and they appointed seven deacons. I believe it was seven deacons filled with the spirit of Yah able to teach and all that. Did you know Stephen that was preaching? I love preaching Acts, the seventh chapter, and he didn't want to preach to the council, and then they end up stoning him to death. He was a deacon. Hmm. Stephen was a deacon. What chapter? Philip was a deacon, Romans 16 and 1. Uh, uh, Philip was a deacon, the one that joined himself to the chariot with the, with, with the Ethiopian eunuch and preached to him out of Isaiah, where he was reading, and he asked him, understand what thou readers? He said, how can I, except mm -hmm. some man guide me? And then he began to explain to him from where he was reading that that was the Messiah, Yahushua. They're serving as the office of a deacon. In fact, if we was to study on the office of a deacon, we would look at uh, uh, Titus and Timothy and, uh, and Peter, and all that, right? And 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 a, and, a, and a deacon must be blameless, right? It also says the husband of one wife, right? Mm -hmm. Well, wonder if it's a female. She ain't gonna marry a woman. We ain't preaching nothing stupid now. I know that's right. Mm -hmm. Are, are y'all listening? Mm -hmm. Oh man. Um, Let's uh let's deal with it, y'all. Let's go to um First Timothy. 
right quick. First Timothy three. Hey, I, should I stay in the NIV? I don't mind. I'll stay in the NIV for right now. First Timothy. Let's look at this, Barbara. Don Deems. Let's look at this. No wonder Romans 14 was talking about how, how can we judge another man's servant? We all belong to Yah, and folks want to dictate, right? Folks want to dictate. Not a hair salon right now. But folks want to dictate, right? Want to dictate whether a man or a woman can preach or not. They want to dictate who can be saved or not. Jew or Greek. Folk, folk, folks, want, folk, folks be dictating too much. Are y'all listening? Folks, be, fo folks come with their theological, a lot of times foolishness. But the Bible classifies them as weak. We're not supposed to receive them to doubtful disputation, though. No. We're not going to hate on them. But they're theologically weak, uh, Dre Griffin. They're theologically weak. They still accepted the Messiah. So we're not going to look down our nose at them because us that's strong is supposed to bear the infirmities of the weak. We're supposed to look out for them, but still teach the truth. Some folks won't hear the word from a woman, but let's, let's look at the deacon. That's all I want to do right quick. Paul writing to Timothy about a deacon. Look what it says. It says, uh, 1 Timothy 3 and 8. It says, in the same way deacons are to be worthy of respect, sincere, not indulging in much wine. Did it say no wine, y'all? Much, much wine. That's why it say, again, who are you to judge another man's servant? Somebody have a little wine and you got a problem with it because you used to be a drunk. Uh, alcoholic, you Mr. and Mrs. AA and NA. And, and now you want to you wanna add to the word when the Bible tells us don't add to the word nor take away. Hard, hard as it is, folks living right, they're not fornicating, they're not committing adultery, they're not murdering and bearing false witness, and now you want to take their little cup of wine from them. Yeah. No, don't take that little cup of wine. The Messiah, he drank a little wine, and they called him a wine bibber, a.k.a. a drunk. Is that another way to say alcoholic? Yeah. Talk back to me. So, 1 Timothy 3, and one, it's saying the same way deacons are to be worthy of respect, sincere, not indulging in much wine, not pursuing dishonest gain. <laughs> not 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 a, a wicked hustler. Now I'm glad Romans the 14th chapter talked about about again obeying the laws of the land and all that. Now and 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 it was actually proven that the laws of the land are the ones that the Most High ordained, and they be, they're the ministers of Yah. They're not the ministers of wickedness and evil. My wife making fun of me because I just no, I ain't I, yeah I ain't, I ain't I ain't with this system. You got me messed the heck up. Yeah. These colonizers, these thieves, everything they got they stole. Talk back to me. <laughs> and they ain't finished stealing. They still got your, they hand in your purse mm -hmm. in your pocket. They Listen, but look what it say. It said the same way deacons must be worthy, respect, sincere, uh, not not indulging in much while not pursuing dishonest gain, right? Preaching for money, stuff like that. Doing things that are wicked to gain money. Sellouts. Wicked folk. Wicked folks that will sell y'all for some money. Folks sell their body for some money. You know. Sell you for some money. Sell dope. Sell their children for some money. Folks is wicked. Dishonest gain, right? They must keep hold of the deep truths of the faith with a clear conscience. They must first be tested. And then if there is nothing against them, let them serve as deacons. Are y'all listening? In the same way, the women are to be worthy of respect. Y'all listening? 
talking about their wives. Did y'all know that? Well, let me help the situation by going to the KJV so y'all can understand. Holl and stop. Don't do it again, okay? In fact, move. I just told you. I'm going to read it in the KJV, starting the first verse. Look what it says. Likewise, must the deacons be grave, not double-tongued, not given to much wine, not greedy of filthy lucre, holding the mystery of the faith in a pure conscience. And let those that first be proved, right? You got to be proven to be faithful to Yah, right? A lover of the things of Yah and the people of Yah, right? They got to be proved. Then let them use the office of a deacon, but being found blameless. Are y'all listening? You got to be found blameless. Look what else it say. Even so must their wives be grave, not slander, sober, faithful in all things. See, when you theologically twist it, you'll believe that, that not, you got to be a man in order to be a deacon. You'll add mentally that, and, 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 and you got to have a wife. No, if you have a wife. She got to be in line too. She can't be out there all over the place, disrespectful, loose, loud mouth, a drunk, getting high, and everybody faced a tripping. She has to be low. I'm real talk. But is that is that is that saying that a person can't serve as a deacon unless he's married? I never heard Philip had a wife. I never heard that Stephen had a wife. They 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 were appointed deacons. So folks theologically read a scripture and they mentally go far and start adding to the word even unintentionally. Mm. Are y'all listening? So look what it says. 11 verse, even so must their wives be grave, not slander, sober, faithful in all things. Let the, let, let the deacon be the husband of one wife. Here we go. Don't mentally go too far with that. Or else we're going to have to get rid of Stephen and Philip. And, and a whole lot of other single folk. And we definitely got to stop Paul from talking, saying, I wish you would be like me with no wife. He didn't have no wife. Yeah, he was a, a, a deacon plus. He was a deacon on steroids, and he didn't have a wife. Talk back to me. <laughs> Let, let the deacons be the husband of one wife, ruling their children and their households well, right? For they that use the office of a deacon, right? Oh, office of a deacon well purchased to themselves a good degree. And great boldness in the faith, which is in Yahushua Mashiach. Are y'all with me? Back to Romans 16. I just want to show y'all that, right? Back to NIV. Look what it say. It say, I, I commend to you, our sister, a phobe, a deacon. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> She's a deacon. And one. Yeah, she's a deacon in the ecclesia of a uh, 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 sincre, and I ask, and I ask you to receive her in Yahuwah in a way worthy of His people, and to give her any help she may need from you, for she has been the benefactor of many people, including me. Are y'all listening? You with me, Tia? So here we go. We got a female deacon. And, and, and all the deacons that was uh, 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 running around here preaching, including Stephen and Philip. So we're not going to get twisted when the Bible teaches that a deacon must uh, be the husband of one wife. You ain't got to have a wife. And you got too many people that was anointed doing the will of Yah that didn't have a wife. You don't want to start adding to the word and taking away for killer. I see you in here. Are y'all with me? 
I'm in the KJV, y'all. Right? No, I'll go back to NIV. Third verse. Greet Priscilla and Aquila. That's male and female dual in the Most High. My co-workers in the Messiah, Yahushua, they risked their lives for me. Not only I, but all the Ecclesias of the Gentiles are grateful to them. When, um, when you belong to Yah, I'm telling you now, you work. That's the truth, too. You work. It's no such thing as a pew member, a bench member. They're going through greetings and the attributes of their lives and how they govern and conduct themselves. What he's doing is he's giving props. He's, he's giving salutations to those that are in the most high who life follow. And the folks life that follow touch people's lives. You get to testify on what they did for you, how they were there for you, how they taught and ministered the word to you, helped you when you were down, when you were in need. The people of Yah stepped forward. Worldly folks, they just ended themselves. They don't have no track record of doing nothing for nobody because they ended themselves. Are y'all listening? Third first, greet Priscilla and Aquila, my co-workers in the Mashiach, Yahushua. They risked their lives for me. Not only I, but all the Ecclesias of the Gentiles are grateful to them. Greet also the Ecclesias that meet, that meet at their house. See, like we is right now. We in the house, Mother Joyce. <laughs> you didn't open up your doors. Yeah. We all on your couches, putting dents in your furniture. <laughs> all on your stairs and stuff. Got your <laughs> den hemmed up with youth services. <laughs> greetings. <laughs> yeah, since he handed out salutations, greetings, um, uh, Mother Joyce. Listen. Fifth verse, and also to the Ecclesiastes uh, uh, that meet at their house. Uh, uh, greet my dear a uh, friend, Epitinus, Epin, Epinetus, who was the first convert in the Messiah in the province of Asia. So he went on and gave his life to the Most High. Hallelujah. Isn't that good? Sixth verse. Greet Mary, who worked very hard for you. Are y'all listening? Working very hard for you. Uh-huh. Greet and Andronicus and Junia, my fellow Yahudim, so-called Jews, my fellow Jews who have been in prison with me. They are standing among the apostles, and they were in the Messiah before I was. So you got these two that were in prison with Paul. They wasn't in prison for Jackson, Jack, carjacking. They wasn't in prison as thugs. They was in prison because the world that they lived in wasn't accepted of truth. Just like the times we living in. You stand with the truth in the time we live in, you can end up in prison too. You're also going to end up being martyred, being killed. We're living in a time where truth is not accepted. You, you, we're living in a world that's sick as I don't know what. Mentally sick, physically sick, sexually sick. Spiritually sick. This is a sick time we living in. And with you standing with truth, Folks will turn on you. I was looking at this girl on my page. And her mother was telling her, you got to get out of my house. And she was in her like mid-20s, would you say, Ella? She was like in her mid-20s. And because she's new school, she went live on Instagram on her mama. Her mama don't know what a violation that was. She went live and said, so you mean to tell me you're going to put me out because I'm dating a woman, right? And the mother said, yeah, I'm old school. 
Yeah, you gonna give me some grandbabies. You gonna lay up in there doing? We don't do that. Well, I'm from the old. You know, she doing that, and so she look. And her daughter's looking in in, in the screen, putting her mom on front. She don't even know that her daughter set her up to be bashed, to be labeled as homophobic. She set her mama up so that people could come against her and hate on her. She potentially even can lose her job. Real talk, as being a hater. She was trying to destroy, but see, the girl knew it. The mama didn't. The mama's having the conversation with her while she's being recorded and broadcast because of the evil times we're living in. The, this, this, the, the same time that Paul was facing is the things we're now facing because a little while ago, it was a, it was a sickness to be sexually sick, literally. It was deemed a medical and a mental handicap and something demonically wrong with you if you were sexually sick. Are y'all listening? Mm -hmm. And they reversed it because the Bible teaches we was going to live in a time where they was going to call evil good and good evil. Welcome aboard. We're living in those times. Mm -hmm. And the daughter working for the devil because the Bible also said that your foes will be of your own household. You don't have to be careful even of your own children. They get them demons in you, them sexual six demons in you, they'll turn on you. They will hate you. They will plot it because it's a demon. It's way more than being sexually sick. It's actually a demon. They be demon possessed. The daughter literally went live. Literally. That door show slammed loud. Somebody slammed the door? No, upstairs. Bathroom. Was it loud? Is there a problem? No. no. Oh, just checking. It's just the wind. Oh, yeah. Let it be the wind then. I think somebody went up there to the bathroom. Oh, okay. Just checking. <laughs> they filled with demons. Are y'all listening? Mm -hmm. And you got to watch and pray over your children. Because they'll side with the devil on you. They will cross you up. Are y'all listening? I posted on now. I posted on, on, on the thing. I just brought out the fact that I said the girl need to get out of mama house because she went live on her and set her up. And the mama obviously just don't know what her daughter doing because she old school. She don't know the new school move she pulled on her. She don't know the effects of that. I'm pretty sure now, by now she know, because she could have got hit with a, a, a wave of hatred. Yeah, she could have lost her job by now. Right. Folks could be ready to egg her house and tear up, some, and tear up a car and stuff. Are y'all listening? Right. Folks are ready to accuse her of being a bad mother and evil. These are the times we're living in where they call evil good and good evil. Is y'all listening? Stay with me now. Look what it say. Gee, man, I see you in here. Um, so what verse am I on, y'all? Eight. Eight. So they was in prison, and y'all notice this? They were outstanding among the apostles. How many of y'all thought it was only uh, t uh, 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 12 apostles? Or maybe even 13. Look what this say. Look at it. Look what it say. Greet Andronicus and Junia, my fellow uh, Jews who have, who have been in prison with me. They are outstanding amongst the who? The apostles. They were apostles too. So it's more than 12. Correct. They are outstanding among the apostles, and they were in the Messiah before I. Are y'all listening? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Greet M. Uh, Plytus, my dear friend in Yahuwah. Greet Urbanus, our co-worker in the Messiah. And my dear friend, uh, Statues. Greet Ampelus, whose fidelity to the Messiah has stood the test. I love it. They just giving it up. 
You got all these folks. You notice how he's giving compliments to those that are working and effective in the in the Most High in these in the in these evil days in these evil times we're living in. You got to greet folks that 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 are down with Yah, down with the people of Yah, down with the things of Yah. You got to you got to greet them. That's why the Bible say not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another. And so much the more as you see the day approaching, working together. Encouraging one and so much more. You see somebody reading their Bible and praying and fasting and doing the things of Yah. You supposed to have their back. You supposed to help them. You supposed to acknowledge them. You supposed to endorse what they do. Worldly people endorse each other and hand out rewards based on worldly accomplishments. They be giving out plaques and. And all, you know what I mean? They get acknowledgments and they get on the mic and, and, and say what you done done and, and the auditorium clap for you. You know, we got all kind of ceremonies and flowers for dancing and, and rapping and singing and, you know, uh, you know, uh, spelling bee and, you know, just all kind of different uh, reward, worldly rewards for worldly accomplishments. <laughs> you see, he's ending this letter with a whole chapter full of salutations for the people of Yah. Because it'd be hard living this life sometimes, going against evil spirits. It gets rough when you're not popular no more. You're a likable person, but people don't like you because you talk about y'all too much. You start talking about folks seeing and they don't like you. They'll start, they'll hate them. Y'all can get along perfectly until you start talking about something spiritual. You got family members you can't talk to y'all about. You start talking to y'all with them, it's going to go down in the town. Oh, yeah. You wonder why uh, you, all of a sudden all the bi windows in the house just busted out and the front door come off the hinges and y'all fight. You backing up down the steps and they rushing you throwing the set straight to the dome. You wonder, well, what happened? What? Somebody messed with their dope money? No, she quoted a scripture. <laughs> oh, my God. She, 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 she said something about y'all. <laughs> And her uncle jumped up and banked on her. <laughs> straight, straight to the forehead. Over a scripture. So to take the time to, to share scripture with folk, listen to me, to share scripture, the word with folk is not easy in the times we're living in. You, you seem like, you seem uncool. You see, you post something about uh, the true origin of Easter, and then you get an avalanche of folks coming. Oh, I, I'm trying to serve Jesus. This is resurrection. No, it's not. It's a pagan holiday, and, and the origin of it is Luciferian. Oh, you're a hater. And, well, and then, then my, 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 my friends count start going down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had 5,000 Now he, he started seeing the number Now I got 4,000 or something Are y'all listening? Come on. When you stand with truth the, 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 the apostles The disciples right Can you imagine Synagogues full of believers And they like on one accord Right the Pharisees and the Sadducees is in their teaching, and they all want a court. And then here come uh, 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 one of uh, the Messiah's boys come up in now, and they say what you're teaching is wrong. And then everybody looking at them. What this hater doing coming in here? Everybody getting along? It's peaceful in here. Here come this low life troublemaker. You always got something to say. You're so negative. Oh, talk back to me. That's right. In the times where they call good, evil, and evil good, you're incredibly negative when you stand with truth. You're negative. That's why you can't be a people pleaser and please Yah. That's why he teaches you you can't serve two masters. You can't be a sellout. You got you got to be stone faced to be with Yah. You got to tell folks the truth no matter what. And stand with it. Come on. You think you think the people of Yah don't need 
the salutations that Paul is writing right here? You don't think that? Do you know the necessity of someone just every now and then doing a good job as you nurse the scar on your face from your ex-employer because they whooped you and fired you? Coming to get spirits. Are y'all listening? Coming against spirits. Okay. I was weighing how hard he closed that door. That wasn't that bad. Listen. Weighing against spirits. When you when you when you attack spirits, people will turn on you. I'm talking about, I'm talking about people you're good to. I'm talking about people you love, people you help. Everything is cool, just as long as you, you don't bring up Yah. Mm -hmm. And we got family members that are satanic as heck, mm -hmm. Luciferian. Yeah. And unfortunately, they have action at your children because of blood ties, not spiritual ties. Mm -hmm. And you'd be surprised what people will do with your children behind your back. Mm -hmm. In the name of, oh, they do too much. You can do that over here. Oh, I ain't going to say nothing. <laughs> And they won't. And y'all, everybody getting along because they got to line in to your children. Are y'all listening? You'd be surprised at the things that from household to household. I'm talking about loving family that you get along with, they get along with you, but you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. That's where molestation come in or... Or 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 or, 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 you know, folks uh, 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 um, uh, signing off and endorsing uh, weirdo relationships. You got family members that's down with weirdo relationships. So as long as you under their roof, you can do that, and they're going to keep a secret from whoever's holy. So now y'all got satanic pacts and secrets together up under the bond of Lucifer. And the poor parent that love y'all don't know nothing about it. Are y'all listening? These are the times we living in. And when you got folks that's going to stand with truth no matter what, and you see someone that's, greet them. He said, greet them. Pat them on the back. Good job. I'm with you. You used to be a lying cusser. You used to be at the orgy. You used to pack a pistol, shooting at folk, cutting folk. Now you didn't change. Greetings. Hallelujah. Put a one in here if y'all with me. Put a one in here if y'all with me, Stacy. Listen. Stacy Tate, look. So, Romans 16 and 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 uh Are you serious? Greetings Emma uh, Lydus, my dear friend in Yahuwah. Greet Urbanias, a co-worker of the Messiah, my dear friend, uh, Statues. Greet Apelles, who fidelity uh, to the to Mashiach has stood the test. Greet those that belong to the household of uh, Aristobulus. Uh, greet uh, Herodian, my fellow uh, Jew. Greet those in the households of Narcissus uh, who are in Yahuwah. Greet Typhina and Trophosa, uh, Trophosa, those women who work hard in Yahuwah. Look at all these women working. Folks, folks hate no women. Even though Galatians tried to tell you that there's no male or female in him, but folks that are weak think that's a problem. Book of Romans covered it all. Folks that's weak think that women ought to be quiet. They don't understand scripture. They didn't understand Paul when he said, let the women learn at home. You had some women that was bringing marital problems inside of the ecclesia and dealing with it publicly. Say, so deal with that stuff at home. This is not marriage uh, uh, seminar. We dealing with the word. We dealing with spiritual things right now. He wasn't telling them they can't talk. He, you see, we started off Romans 16 chapter with a female deacon. And then we looked into what a deacon is and the qualifications of a deacon. She's a preacher. Straight up, just like the rest of them. Let these folks tell her she wasn't. 
Because they don't understand script. That's why Peter said the writings of Paul is hard to interpret. And a lot of people shipwreck, wrestle. They wrestling with the truth. They get they they, they get the wrong uh, understanding of what's really going on. Oh y'all listen. Uh huh. Thirteenth verse. Greet Rufus, chosen in Yahuwah, and his mother, who had been a mother to me too. Greet a sign a sin a sin critus, uh Philogon, Hermes, Petrobus, Hermes, and the other brother, it's Hermes and Hermes, and the other brothers and sisters with them. See, those are males and females. That was the, uh, I guess, Hermes is the masculine form of Hermas, the feminine, and the other brothers and sisters with them. 15 verse. Greet Philo, Logus, Julia, Nerus, and his sister, and Olympus, and all Yahuwah's people who are with them. 16 verse. Greet one another with a holy kiss. Are y'all listening? All the Ecclesiastes of the Messiah send greetings. 17 verse. Look what it says. I urge you, brothers and sisters, to watch out for those who cause division and put obstacles in the way that are contrary to the teachings you have learned. Keep away from them. Did y'all hear that? He went from giving greetings... To telling us how we're supposed to treat, treat those that's in faith. And encourage them in faith. And support them in the faith. How many of us do that? We're there for one another. Oh no man, nothing but love. How many of us is aware of that? And the importance of acknowledgement. Again, going back to not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. Listen, most high put together... A ecclesia of people that's growing and learning together and he's sending the word to feed that portion of the body and folks come up missing that's hurtful those that really love Yah it's not hurtful if they don't love Yah because they just peek in hang out for a minute they ain't gonna get no money they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna tag nobody they're not gonna show up if you have an event they're not going to support and build up the body. It takes mental, physical, and spiritual to build up a body. It takes people to be all in. It takes that if you're an electrician, then the ecclesia shouldn't have no electrical problems. But you got jokers that got to get paid for their electrical. Yeah. You got jokers that can sing. You got jokers that can play. But they're not going to sing or play unless they get paid. You joker, you. When, when Yah send body members, he send gifts. Just like a, a, a carnal person with a company pay for the gifts needed to run the business. It's called a, a it's called a payroll. He got a payroll. He ain't expect nobody to be loyal to him or love him or even like him. Go on and do the cash register and shut up. I'm paying you, Joker. Why are you late? He's standing by the time clock. Worldly people pay for cooperation. The love of Yah should be stronger than money. Your commitment to your gift in these last evil days is paramount that we work together. While the devil is killing, still and destroying, picking off our children right up under our nose. While we divide it, can't get along, won't do nothing unless we get paid to do it. I look at the Musicians in the church and is sick of how entitled they are and how they ain't doing nothing for money. They ain't doing nothing but let you pay them. That's why they still pay for the Gap Band too, see? They'll play for Lil Wayne and Jesus. <laughs> Don't make them no different whoever paying. They'll get offended. Oh, I'm telling you the truth. Then you got folks that won't preach unless they get paid. They didn't turn the house of Yah into a business in the wicked times we living in. And folks, believe it's supposed to be a business. No, you're supposed to handle business. It ain't a business. You're supposed to be about Yah's business. Talk back to me. And if the, if the ministry is generating enough revenue, those that work at the altar are supposed to live of it. 
The first one is supposed to live of the altar is the pastor, obviously. He the one preaching and teaching the word. And if he shows to you spiritual things, the, the congregation is obligated to take care of them naturally. And that's what the last verse just taught, or the last chapter just taught in Romans. Are y'all listening? You're supposed to, period. Now, if you ain't down with it, you ain't down with y'all anyway. Part time, part timers. Listen. And so all the gifts, you're supposed to be doing it for y'all, period. And then if the ministry starts to generate, you're supposed to live with the altar. You're supposed to be to the point to where you ain't even got to do a nine to five so you can focus on the ministering uh, 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 to the people of Yah through the power of Yah. First one that's not supposed to be working is the pastor. It's just the truth. Are y'all listening? So you can attend to the things of Yah. Given the fasting and prayer, it's... <laughs> <clears throat> when they chose the deacons in the book of Acts to, to wait the tables, wh why they say that's supposed to be? So that the apostles that was teaching and preaching the word can be given to, to prayer and fasting. He said, it's not Yah's will that we wait tables. We should be completely dedicated to the things of Yah. I'm just trying to tell you something. If, if, if you want to grow in Yah, and Yah is using the method that he created in the Ecclesia, what they call the church. There's positions in the Ecclesia, the Yah anoint, and the blueprint of that was originated in the wilderness up under, Mo well, up under Moses and then Aaron. And, it, and Aaron was just a, a, a priest and or a mouthpiece for Moses. And then, and then who the mantle was supposed to be passed to was to Joshua, real name uh, Yahusha. Some say Yehoshua, but it's all Yah in salvation. He was the namesake of the Messiah. That's the blueprint of the Ecclesia. And you look at the New Testament Ecclesia, that's what it is. A pastor <coughs> who Yah deals with. On a certain level, Hebrews 13 and 17 say, Obey them that had a rule over you, for they watch for your souls, and it's better they do with joy and not with grief, which is unprofitable to you. We live in the times where folks don't even quote that scripture no more, because everybody got digital uh, 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 pulpits. And every man for himself. Just, just like the attitude that the children of Israel had in the wilderness. They told Moses, We, Israel, we the holy people of Yah too. What makes you think that you're supposed to lord over us? And the Most High said, okay, well, everyone with Moses get over here, and everyone is with them get over there. And then he opened up the earth and swallowed them and closed it on them and killed them all. How about that? <laughs> but see, we don't teach or learn or read and acknowledge stuff like that. Because we all got digital pulpits, and we're unsubmissive. We're going to run it the way we want to. Come on, talk back to me. <clears throat> I'm going to get out of here. You notice how he went from salutations to encouraging those to be of Yah, doing the will of Yah, and then he said, here I go. 17 verse. I urge you, brothers and sisters, to watch out for those who cause division and put obstacles in your way that are contrary to the teachings you have learned. Somebody want to sleep with you. Somebody want to get high with you. Somebody want to get drunk with you. Somebody want to run everybody down in the ministry with you. Yeah, yeah. He said, watch them too. Give salutations and compliment those that are obeying Yah and these other jokers. 18 verse. For such people are not serving our Adonai Yahusha, but their own appetites. They're serving their desires. They're not submissive to the things of Yah. You got to pay them to do something for Yah. <clears throat> they definitely not going to pay for nothing for Yah. They're not going to they support ministry. they support supporting their household and what they got going. You got folks like that. By smooth talk and flattery, they devise, they deceive the minds of naive people. <clears throat> Y'all heard that? People is under their spell, sitting right in the house of prayer, sitting right amongst the believers, 
You with me, Jasmine? Sitting right amongst the believers, people are being seduced by folks in the congregation that got some wicked, evil stuff to say. Everyone has heard about your obedience, so I rejoice because of you. But I want you to be wise about what is good and innocent about what is evil. Did y'all hear that? He said, you good, good-hearted. You ain't running around here evil, surmising, and looking at people wickedly. But I don't want you ignorant. I want you to be wise about what is good and innocent about what is evil. I want you, I want you to be wise about the good things. And I, and I want you to be uh, innocent about what's evil. Don't mess with it. And you got to be able to discern the difference. Are y'all listening? And the Elohim of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. Did y'all hear that? It won't be long. Soon we'll be leaving here. This life goes by so fast, it ain't even funny. I remember when the Drina was heck of small with little pigtails. I think she had about four of them. <laughs> that seemed like it was yesterday. I remember little John John, he got a beard and everything. Now, I remember when he was... Baby face, he was like Steph Curry. A little baby face. He still got a baby face up under the beard. But how, my, 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 how t Oh, I looked over at Frank. Because <laughs> I remember if I had looked in that uh, direction, I saw a big old orange afro. <laughs> I looked over there, all I saw was a sausage. <laughs> That was a period on what I said. That's a cherry bomb. Are y'all listening? <clears throat> the Elohim of peace, 21st, y'all. Time is flying, y'all. The, the Elohim of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. Just, just hang in there, y'all. And the unmerited favor of our Adonai, Yahushua, will be with you. Timothy, my co-worker, sends his greetings to you. Y'all heard that? He's sending greetings, too. That's what we're supposed to do. As do Lucas, Jason, and Safra Patter, my, my fellow Jew. Hey, y'all, y'all don't have to give me on these names. <laughs> I, Turdas, who wrote down this letter, greets you in Yahuwah. Who wrote this letter? Tertius? I, I Tertius, yeah. who wrote down this letter, greets you in Yahuwah. Did y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. Who wrote this letter down? Tertius. 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 Tertius under the dictation of Paul. Yeah. Who wrote this letter down greets you in Yahuwah. Mm -hmm. Gaius, whose hospitality I and the whole Ecclesia here enjoy, <laughs> send you his greetings. Aractus, who is the, the, the city's director of public works. Y'all heard that? They got a city director. Mm -hmm. how, how, how many, how, how many uh, uh, titles we got in this ecclesia, uh, 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 Victoria? Look what it say. It say, Eratus, who is the city director of public works, and other brother, Cardus, send you their greetings. <clears throat> now to him who is able to establish you, uh-huh, to establish you in accordance with my uh, uh, Basora or gospel, the message I proclaim about Yahushua Mashiach, in keeping with the revelation of the mystery, uh, 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 the the mystery hidden for 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 long ages past, but now revealed and made known through the prophetic writings by the command of the eternal Elohim, so that all Gentiles might come to the obedience that comes from faith. To the only wise Elohim be glory forever in Yahushua HaMashiach. Amen. Oh, Give y'all praise. Listen. Amen. Um, like, the first and foremost is to have a relationship with the Messiah. The things that are trivial, we got to start learning what those things are. What about do doctrine is trivial that people argue about, fight about, and cause division about? Because we're not supposed to be doing that. No. 
like 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 some people will worship on a Sunday. Is there a doctrine or reason why they should prefer Saturday to Shabbat? Of course it is. Is it possible that they are saved? Of course they are. Of course it's possible. Straight up. And we can't st st start receiving our brothers and and since it's a doubtful disputation based on whether they got a beard or not, or dreads or not, or fringes or not, whether they're male or female, whether they eat meat or not, or drink wine or not. The Bible said, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. That's between them and y'all, y'all. And we got to learn that type stuff. So we can stop def fighting and dev devouring one another. Because right now the enemy is attacked, uh, is, is at war and is, at, on, is attacking us. And a whole lot of people is biting the dust. You got some folks that don't have a clue. And we right at the brink of everything changing. The wrath of Yah is here. He's allowing the, 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 the agenda of Satan to go forth because he's angry. Bible say the most high is angry with the wicked every day. <laughs> he's angry with the wicked. And so he's calling us out of the darkness into the marvelous light. He's calling us to repentance. You can't move any kind of way in the presence of Yah. You just can't do what you want to do. Some of us is living worldly and Yah know it and you're in trouble. But what he do is he'll send you warning. He'll try to warn you. You keep pulling on your coattail. Get your house in order. Get your house in order. Because when it hit, we got folks that's um, committed to gurneys. They live on them. That we know. Committed to wheelchairs. Blind. Got diseases in their in excruciating pain every day. And we got the faculties of a limb. We're able to come and go and move about. And we're still ungrateful. We got to check that type of stuff. Check that stuff at the door. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. And be appreciative of ex-thieves, ex-murderers, ex-lies, ex-adulterers, ex-fornicators. Ex, 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 ex. Salute them, greet them, encourage them. And so much the more as you see the day approaching. Put a two in here if y'all with me. <clears throat> To the tune here, y'all. It's hard to come against these spirits. Y'all say, I don't mind coming against them. I don't play. <laughs> right? When I step out of this office, real talk, when I step off this office, like what I'm doing right now, I'm more lenient about things. Like when I step out of this. When I'm sitting here, did y'all know even the, the word teaches keep your feet in the house of y'all? You can end up getting yourself in trouble, moving too sure, much, yeah. talking too much. Hebrews uh, 2 and 1 say, give the most earnest heed to the things which you have heard, at least at any time you should let them slip. You're supposed to be really paying attention to the things of Yah, real talk, and being careful and real mindful even when you move. Be careful that you, when you open your mouth and what you say. You're supposed to be real mindful when you're in the presence of Yah. You got to know the difference. We're always in the presence of Yah. But there's times where he, two or three are gathered in his name, touch the green, he's in the mist, and he's moving, and he's working, and he's changing hearts, and he's delivering, and he's saving, and he's forgiving, and he's handing out spiritual assignments. A lot is going on, and we too loose. We too loose. I got triggered, just as simple, well, I'm preaching something serious. The baby went and used the bathroom, the door slammed. My spirit. You know, you, you know yours was harder. Oh, me? Yeah, yours. Oh, no, you, I understand you didn't do that on purpose. But I went there anyway. And then I, was fin I heard his. You heard me say something by his. Yeah. I, I weighed the slam. You know, because we're supposed to be more, we're, we need to be taught how to reverence Yah. Now listen, you know who bad is on? Say if our children don't really know the seriousness of referencing Yah. They'll talk and they'll play, they'll pass notes, they'll giggle, they'll play games. 
Why? Because they're children and they don't know. There were some children that teased the prophet, called him Baldy. Yeah, I remember that one. And then the most I had, what was it, a bear or a lion? It was a bear. A bear. A bear came and killed them. Eat them up. Now, calm minded people don't understand y'all for that. Really, you just you just don't. Yeah, folks don't understand. Evil <clears throat> the level that we think he's demonic, but he is merciful. Yeah, he's merciful because all evil is condemned. I don't care what size it is. We say, "Oh, the babies." That's not what he say. That's evil. <laughs> That's why he told you to raise them up. Yeah. The way, they the way you're supposed to. Because yeah. when they old, they won't depart from it. Are y'all listening? Yeah. Right. You got to be mindful. Real talk. But we got to teach that. I'm going to tell you how serious y'all is, and I'm going to let y'all go. Hey, the Ark of the Covenant was about to fall. Israel, some Israelites saw it, and they went to try to catch it so it wouldn't fall. Mm -hmm. And he killed all of them in a radius. All the people that was in that city, he killed all of them. Because they weren't supposed to touch it. Did they mean well? Yeah. Yah is nothing to play with like people think. They take kindness for weakness. He is a just Elohim and he destroys evil. He shielded himself for destroying all evil for his namesake. Right? And his namesake is his character. And his character is he loves his children and he's going against what's right, for the lack of a better term. I don't want to say it like that. He's holding back what's right. That's better. He, he'll never go against what's right. He's holding back the true justice and judgment because he's merciful as well. Amen. So whatever he do, if it's bad, we got it coming. And we earned it. So abide in his mercy and in, in his unmerited favor, what they call grace. Are y'all listening? Put a three in here if y'all agree. <laughs> Hallelujah. We all need to repent. I pray y'all enjoyed the book of Romans because we're done with it. Finally, we want to give y'all praise for that. We're done with the book of Romans. I pray y'all is able to feast. I recommend you go back and look at it. Get you some leftovers. Still plenty of uh, leftovers in the Tupperware. <laughs> In the digital Tupperware, go and get you some. And uh, at the main, at the main thing is, y'all, we y'all, we need to repent. We need to repent. How many y'all willing to walk away from all sin? Put a phone in here. Yay. If you're willing to walk away from all sin, put a phone in. Here. Put a phone in. Here. Well, let's get ready. Let's get ready to pray. Put five on it. <clears throat> let's get ready to pray, y'all. <clears throat> Put five on it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Spirit of living Elohim, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Humble you know how or when your presence because we love you. We need you desperately. Hallelujah. We need you desperately. Help us. We need you. Save your children. Change hearts even right now. Forgive us for sin. But we got to change. We got to denounce sin. Uh, you, you, you'll forgive us if we if we denounce sin. Give us a heart and a mind to denounce sin. Wake us up spiritually. To, we assure evil, which means to hate evil. Help us, y'all. We need you desperately <coughs> right now. I'm asking you to forgive us again. Give us a heart and a mind to walk away from sin. Uh, all shapes, uh, forms, and sizes of sin. Help us. Deliver us from evil. We'll be careful to give you the praise and the honor, not only now, but forever. In the master's name, Yahushua, we help me pray. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. <clears throat> that was the lesson for the day. I pray we all continue to obey everything the Most High said. Those of you that's local, we are barbecuing at uh, uh, Emerald Glen Park. Uh, 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 Sunday tomorrow 
and I'm going to be uh, teaching on the origin of Easter, and we'll, we, we will be reposting the fly today. And so those of you that are local, come on out. It begins at noon 30, and we I don't know if we're going to stay till 6. It just depends on the weather, but it's not. It don't look like it's going to rain, and it look like it might heat up a little bit. I'm believing the most high for about 70. 70 degrees is what I'm believing him for. We'll see what he do. He got the last say so. But I believe the yard's going to be a nice day. And we're going to have a good time in yard. Have some good food and enjoy uh, the ecclesia. We can salute one another. Give salutations. Hallelujah. Is that all right? I think that's all right. Thank everybody for hanging out. What's up with it, Tia? Big Sean in the building. I love y'all. Let's continue to uh, pray for one another and encourage one another. And so much the more. I'm asking you to see the day approaching. Is that all right? Okay. All right, I'm going to let y'all go now. Y'all y'all all be Baruch and uh, 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 Brock, 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. I'm gone. Hallelujah.